Don't try this yourself. It's extremely dangerous. Hello everyone, my name is Darkstar, and today I'm going to bring you a mod guide of a pretty old blaster, the Nerf Nightfinder. So, pretty simple modifications. Well, let's get right to it. So once you get all those screws undone, you can just lift that right off and you'll get straight to this. Now this is a, something a lot of mod guides are missing, a good look at the internals. This is what it should look like when you're finished with it. I will post a uh, better picture of it at the end of this video. So locking the plunger tube down is a bit different than the fire strike, which makes sense because it's the fire strike is a newer blaster. There's a screw here and here, two screws holding the plunger tube in. Just go ahead and unscrew them and pull them out. Don't lose them because you want to have those uh, to put the plunger tube back in after this is finished. And then you can just try to keep a hold of your catch spring. This actually isn't the correct catch spring for this blaster because uh, the one I had that was in it went flying. So just pull this whole assembly out. Uh, here is the plunger, plunger head and spring and then the catch is kind of attached to that. But we're just going to sit that to the side for a minute here and get into this. This is the uh, main plunger and everything and so look at that you just open the like this just comes right off easily and the air restrictor and its spring falls right out so then you're just left with this no more air restrictor um, just a note you're not going to want to fire this uh, if you remove the air restrictor do not dry fire this so if there's no dart in it don't fire this blaster off so that's pretty much done for now um, we could remove the dart post. I don't think I'm going to just because I don't have a need for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the main plunger assembly back together. Make sure this is all straight. So go ahead and grab your plunger head and take a look at that. There's a little screw in the center of it. Go ahead and take that out for this part. Now, you might not be able to do this part, but I am going to... Um, add a spring on here. I'm not going to replace it because I don't have a full replacement spring, but I am going to add one that I have lying around. So unscrew that screw. This plunger head just comes right off. And then the spring comes off. And this is a spring from an airsoft gun that I had um, that broke, so I took it apart, took out the spring. And it's a decently strong spring, so hopefully it can help us get some better performance. It's about the same length, so hopefully this will work. I haven't actually tried this for sure, but I'm going to stick it in here. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. To weave it or to just stick it in or a combination of both. Let's just try shoving it in. There we go. It's going in there. And then kind of twist it just to get it to go all the way through. And there we go, now those are woven together, should look somewhat like that, and then slide that back onto, slide both springs combined back onto the plunger rod, and my plunger head is coming apart, I didn't know it did that, because I don't mess with knife finders that much. It's all good, let's just get it back together. Alright, so just get your plunger head back on there. Stick it onto the end and screw this all back on there together. 
like that. And this seal seems a bit weird to me. You know what? I didn't put the plunger head back on right. That's perfect. Oof. Let's see, there we go. Now I'll screw it back together. Anyway, as I was saying, this seal is weird. There's an O-ring, but then it like moves all over the place. And my, and my screwdriver just fell. Wow, I'm looking very professional in this video. Uh, but the O-ring kind of like moves around everywhere. It's a bit weird to me. But I'm just going to go with it. Alright, we're just going to put this all back together. Slide this right in. I'm hoping that this can handle the spring load of the combination of springs. So basically, it's really simple. Set this right in here. Make sure the spring is behind. There is a little wall inside the blaster here. Make sure that spring is on this side of it. Because if it's not, it's not going to work right. And then set the catch right in that little bed there. Now, pull your catch spring out. You might want to upgrade it with a higher spring load if you did that. Um, just so you know, even if you don't add a spring, taking out that air restrictor is going to help your FPS. Uh, which, for those who don't know, that stands for feet per second. Or if you're a computer guy or gaming person or whatever, uh, stands for frames per second. But in the Nerf community, it stands for feet per, per second. So you're just going to want to get this all lined up and make sure it's put back together. And then screw your plunger tube back into place because you don't really want your plunger tube going all over the place when you're using the blaster because that's not going to be fun. It's going to wreck the plunger tube in the long run. Well, I mean, it might not. It's still pretty tight, but still, just to be safe, make sure you screw that back down. So you may be wondering about the light up here. Um, first of all, this was bought at uh, Goodwill. It didn't have a battery door on it. I'm going to see if I can find another one at some point, but as, of, as, with, um, as for LED modifications, I'm not really going to do any of those, at least not in this video. If I get another LED or I decide to switch it, what I'm thinking is maybe uh, putting a Fire Strike LED in this and then wiring in the uh, trigger, the, what is it, the laser switch or what? I don't know what it's called, I'm just calling it a laser switch and cutting this out and putting that there so that it works more like a fire strike but I'm not going to do that in this video I'm not sure if I'm even going to do it at all but hopefully this is getting some better FPS regardless of what we did to the LED which was nothing so let's get a screw back together I almost forgot about these little green pieces they both come apart into two pieces but they slide in right here and that's so that and these hold the darts because it's meant to be extra dart holders just like on the fire strike so those slip those right there I almost forgot them but I added this segment in quick because I remembered Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, sorry for the bad lighting in here, but I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I hope that even though it's a pretty old blaster, you guys can use this mod guide to your advantage to keep running these old end strike blasters because it's fun sometimes. So, you're going to be getting some seriously better performance out of this just from moving the air restrictor, but especially if you added a spring in there or replaced the spring. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.